Hey guys, in this video I want to show the division algorithm. So basically what I'm saying, if I have two numbers A and B which are natural numbers, and let's assume A is bigger than B, then I can write A uh, equals B times Q plus R. When Q are a natural number and R is my remainder which is uh, bigger or equal than zero or strictly less than B. Uh, so what is the geometric picture of this one? The geometric picture of this one is basically saying if I have a line segment of length 2, and let's say this is going to be my A, and I have a line segment, uh, no, sorry, sorry, it's not A, it's my B. And I have a line segment of length 7, and this is my A. Then I'm saying I can add my segment B a finite number of times. So in this case, I just need to add this three times and I will get the remainder and the remainder is going to be exactly the oh, uh, this line segment R, which is going to be equal in this case to one. So basically what I'm saying, I'm saying that I can write seven, seven as uh, three times two plus one. When this is my A, uh, this is B, Q and R. And I'm saying this is true for any natural numbers. I did this in concrete in one example, but I want to show that I want to prove this property for any A and B such that A is strictly bigger than B. And how I'm going to do this? I'm going to create a set, a subset of natural numbers. So my A is gonna be such and belongs to natural numbers that a minus bn is bigger or equal than zero. So basically what I'm saying, I'm saying let's take uh, n such that this difference is going to be bigger or equal than zero. And since my a is finite and b is finite, this set is going to be finite. So I want to show first that this is um, a is non-empty. Second, that a is bounded from above. And when I'm going to show that A is unempty and A is bounded from above, I will get that A has a maximum element. And I'm going to call this maximum element Q. So I will gonna find my Q. And when I will find my maximum element Q, I will show that A minus BQ, I will let this equal to be R, and it will show this is must be, be greater or equals than zero and less strictly less than b. So this is going to be my proof. First, I'm going to show that a is not empty. A is bounded from above. Then, then by the previous lemma or proposition that I proved, when you have non-empty subset which is bounded, non-empty subset of natural numbers which is bounded from above, it means there is a maximum element. And this maximum element is unique. And after this, I'm going to show that if I will take r by definition a minus b times q. Uh, my r is going to be bigger than equals than zero, and that's in b. So basically, I will find for such a and b q and r. So let's start our proof. So first, uh, let's show that a is non-empty. And you can take a look at this expression, and can you can tell me why a is non-empty? Uh, but there is one thing. I need to write this down, a is bigger or equal than b. And why it makes sense, why? Because if a equals than b, okay, let me write down this right away. I'm saying if a equals and equals to b, then my a equals one times b plus zero, where this is my r and this is my q. So this case already satisfied, so yeah, it does make sense. Okay, so uh, A is not empty, why? Because I know since A is strictly bigger than B, oh, a, since A is bigger or equal than B, I can write this A minus one times B strictly uh, bigger or equal than zero. So from here I will get that one belongs to A. Why? Because Y satisfies this proposition. 
So from here I will get that A is an empty. So first uh, proposition is we got it. So A is an empty. Uh, second step, we want to show that A is bounded from above. And how I'm going to show this? Uh, let's separate this. Uh, I'm, use, I'm going to use Archimedean property. And what is Archimedean property? Archimedean property basically saying, if you have two numbers A and B, then you can find, uh, then there exists some natural number M, N, uh, such that uh, B, M, is going to be strictly less, uh, strictly bigger than A. So basically saying if B is a smaller line segment, I can add up this line segment until the total line, the total length of my segment is going to be strictly bigger than A. And you can see if you're going to rewrite this as A minus B, M, you'll get this is strictly less than zero. So from here you will get that M doesn't belong to A. Why M doesn't belong to A? Because it doesn't satisfy this condition. So from here I will get that M is an upper bound. Uh, let's write this down. Let's an upper bound. So if M is an upper bound, it means A is bounded from above. And why, and why M cannot uh, be on the left-hand side? So it means like, for example, if this is my natural numbers, this is my A, and this is zero. So my M must lie over here. Why it cannot lie here? Because one belongs to A. So there is no room for M to be on the left-hand side. Okay, so we got that A is an empty. And uh, let's me erase this. Uh, that A is an empty and A is bounded from above. Okay, also I'm going to erase this. Okay, in my uh, third step, uh, I'm going to use the previous proposition. I'm saying that A is a subset of natural numbers, A is an empty, and A bounded. Then there is exist uh, Q, which is maximal element of A. And how you know there is exist a unique Q, which is maximal element of A. Okay, uh, so yeah, so we found our Q. So we're almost done. The last part, I'm gonna define R to be equal A minus BQ. And my claim, let me write this in different color. My claim that R is between uh, strictly bigger or equals than zero and strictly less than B. So this is my claim. And how am I going to prove this? And I'm going to prove this by contradiction. So by contradiction, uh, what is negation of this one? Negation of this one means either R is less strictly less than zero or R bigger or equal than B. And I'm going to show that both of these statements are false, so this statement must be true. And let's show why the first one is false. The first one is false if this is true, I have that A minus BQ strictly less than zero. So again, by the previous argument, B doesn't belong to A. So B cannot be a maximum element. Oh, not B, sorry, sorry. Uh, Q doesn't belong to A. So Q doesn't belong to A. So by definition of maximum element, Q cannot be a maximum element. Why? Because maximum element must lie in set A. So this is contradiction we got, this is got false. Or actually it's a not possible. What about other case? If R is bigger than equals than B, then we can write this in the same way, A minus BQ bigger or equals than zero, oh, than B. 
So a minus b plus 1 times q bigger or equal than 0. So I move b to the left-hand side. So I got, I found another element, b plus 1, which lies in a, and b plus 1 is bigger than b. So, oh, sorry, not b, uh, q plus 1. I keep doing this mistake. So this is uh, b and this is q plus 1. And this is q plus 1. So I found that q plus 1 lies in a, but q is my maximum element. And I found another element which is bigger than q. It contradicts that q is maximal. So this is also not possible. So the first one not possible, the second not possible. So this statement must be true. And here we're basically done. Why? Because we showed if uh, we give if you will give me two numbers, I will find Q and R such that this is true.